Five years after Elon Musk demonstrated prototypes and started accepting reservations for the electric big rigs, Tesla Incorporated will deliver its first semi-trucks to PepsiCo Inc. Musk tweeted Thursday that the company will hand over semis to PepsiCo in December. The food and beverage conglomerate has reserved 100 of the vehicles and plans to deploy the first 15 by the end of the year. In its own tweet on Friday, PepsiCo announced that it would get its first Tesla trucks in early December to service a Frito-Lay facility in Modesto, California, and a beverage plant in Sacramento. Musk said when the semi was originally shown in November 2017 that it will go into production two years later. While prospective customers such as Walmart Inc. and Anheuser-Busch InBev SA made deposits, Tesla ended up prioritizing production of Model 3 sedans and Model Y sport utility vehicles for consumers while dealing with battery cell and chip supply concerns. Because of component shortages, Musk warned investors in January that Tesla will not release any new models this year. Three days after the U.S. Senate enacted the Inflation Reduction Act, which made heavy-duty electric vehicles eligible for up to $40,000 in federal tax credits, he altered his tune. On August 10, the CEO tweeted that the business will begin selling semis with 500 miles of range this year. Tesla will compete with other manufacturers of battery-powered heavy rigs, such as Nikola Corporation, a relative newcomer, and more established corporations such as Sweden's Volvo AB. This Thursday, the latter stated that it would deliver 20 totally electric vehicles to Amazon.com Inc. before the end of the year. As of 11.39 a.m. in New York, Tesla shares were down 4.3% to $227.79. PepsiCo's stock fell 0.6% to $161.83.